What's going on guys? Back at it again tonight, working on the nitro again. Um, tonight I'm just going to continue to peel glue and uh, and probably try to remove like the gauges and look at the wiring for the bilge pump. So that's the on the agenda for tonight on the nitro 2000 DC. So the first thing I'm going to do tonight, I'm going to take some simple green um, and just kind of spray there's a lot of dirt and debris and I'm going to just spray everything down, get it as clean as I can. Um, vacuum out clumps. The simple green helps like a degreaser and it also helps get everything clumped up so that way I can get it all together, vacuum it out, get it cleaned out, and then I can see what actually needs scraped and more elbow grease than just wiped out. So I'm going to go through and kind of see what it all looks like now. I'll take a better picture and uh, you'll see what's done. Pretty much what the whole bed right now looked like. And then in a pretty quick time, I've gotten down a pretty good system of razor blade, simple green, and like wet sanding the simple green with like 60 grit. And uh, it's starting to come off pretty quick. So I'm just gonna keep on keeping on, try to get this whole front area done. Um, I may try to tackle inside these boxes, but you know, they're pretty, they're pretty good today. So we'll see, I gotta get up here. The whole other side and there's a lot to do on the back yet so i got some time shout out high seas right there they've been with me since very early in the beginning awesome company the best line on the market local here in pennsylvania so for sure go get yourself some high seas right there thanks other side as you can see here I'm working up towards the deck a little bit it's getting there. I've got that little corner. You can see how much glue and debris is on it. So it shows how far the rest of it's come. These channels need cleaned up. I still gotta do this channel here. But uh, the little corners are a pain, so I gotta work on that. But it's coming along. I'm I'm seeing progress. I'm liking progress. I'm gonna try to get this front deck done tonight and then uh, work on doing some lids. So I'm hoping I can get some lids done tonight. I got these here. Those are started. And then I got uh, about five or six more lids over on the other side that need done. Let's get the carpet off those. But like I showed in the last video, um, the lids aren't that bad because they're made of metal. So I'm able to scrape them pretty quick and then get them down to nothing. Uh, to accept the new glue so i'm just going to keep plugging away here and uh i'll keep updating with some photos and some stuff on my instagram as i go so make sure you follow my instagram at lenfish42 my facebook at len hargrave fishing um for post throughout projects um or you can wait till my uh, youtube channel has a video so i'm gonna get back after it all right so i just tried something different than simple green and I have to give a shout out to a good friend of mine, Steph Kogan, because she came over to our house because we just moved, whatever, so we had to clean out the old apartment. And she came over with this stuff. I'm sorry, it's like backwards, but um, it's called Totally Awesome. She said she got it at like the dollar store. So I'm like, let's see if it works. Cause like, you know, she cleaned our stove and stuff with it. Um, yeah, it works. It totally awesome. She said she got it like the dollar or so store or something. So I sprayed it on that side to just, you know, let it soak in. And then I texted like Rob Bidniak and whatever, and I'm just hanging out. And then this side I've not touched yet. So that's what that side looked like. And like, that's ridiculous. So I just took it, I sprayed it on, let it sit a couple minutes. And then, um, I took some 60 grit and not even hard. I just lightly sanded it. It's starting to come together here. But uh, yeah, it came right off. So as you can see, I'm in desperate need to go get more, um, which I'll go grab like tomorrow or Thursday. I'll probably grab Thursday when I'm back at it. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna go get like gallons of this stuff. And, and finish this boat up in a hurry so so go get yourself some totally awesome if you're doing your carpet and some 60 grit sandpaper and just kind of spray it on and let it soak and then just 
wipe, like rub the area, and then I used um, some blue paper towels, those heavy duty paper towels, and simple green, and just wiped it up, and it looks awesome, and it's ready for glue. So that's what I suggest doing. So, I've got a lot of the, uh, the glue off the front deck from the photos you just saw. Um, I'm excited about it. I think uh, Thursday night is the next time I'll be able to get out here. I will uh, get to the compartments and maybe the floor on the front deck. So, I think I'm going to call it uh, call it quits for, for this evening. Um, but the entire front deck is stripped. I'll uh, post a couple more pictures here. And... Uh, I look forward to doing the floor and some vacuuming on Thursday. So if you guys remember what this front deck looked like earlier this evening, it cleaned up fantastic. It is definitely ready for glue. I'm gonna do some more like simple grain stuff um, to get it going. So to, uh, Thursday night, I'm going to get some of this glue and carpet resonance out of the rod locker. I gotta work on the floor in this extra compartment. I need to secure this up. That'll be here coming up soon. I gotta get everything out of here as well as that compartment over. Um, I did over. not get a chance to pull the um, tilt gauge or the gas gauge or do anything with the Bilge this evening, um, that'll be coming up. I still have a lot of work to do in the back, but now that I kind of figured out a system for the front, I'll be able to go to the back and do do that r relatively quickly. Um, the compartments in the back are pretty nasty, so I'm looking uh, looking forward to getting those cleaned out for like my co-angler and storage and things of that nature. And uh, I didn't get any lids done tonight, but I will get lids done um, Thursday or next week. I'm probably not going to order the carpet for a couple weeks yet, so I have some time to really like buckle down and get this stuff done. So I'm uh, I'm excited about so that. Overall, here's the front so far. It's pretty clear. Moving back, I got a lot of work to do here on the floor and inside these compartments. Coming back, middle or uh, passenger console. I got to do the floor here. Do the floor over there, and then I got some cleaning up here to do. This is not too bad, but the other side is really bad. The live walls are pretty clean. Um, a lot of glue and stuff to get to do here, and then just the lids of this. But I should be able to clean that up pretty quick with the new system that I found tonight with that awesome sauce from uh, Steph Kogan. So I should be able to get that cleaned up pretty good. I'll get the carpet ordered. I'll get the center console ordered or the coin box ordered. Um, and figure out what to do for like a seat mounting system and go from there. So that's where we're at for now. Um, pretty pumped with the progress I'm making. I'm on track for getting carpet and everything uh, ordered here in the next month and hopefully have this wrapped up by, what is it, October? Hopefully by the end of November, um, have this thing wrapped up. So... I'm not that concerned about fishing this fall. Um, my local lakes, for you guys who are local, who know, um, you know that Williams is, has been drained all year. You know that Redmond is drained right now. Um, Susquehanna River is hit or miss depending on the rain, so that's whatever. Um, so my concern now is just getting this boat ready for 2019 and getting and getting it going. So. That's what I'm trying to do, and um, I'll go from there. So please uh, subscribe to my page, uh, Lenfish, Lenfish42 is my Instagram, Len Hargrave Fishing is my Facebook, and uh, Len Hargrave Fishing is also my YouTube where you're watching this video. Please subscribe to all of them. Um, any tips, pointers you guys have as far as the installation of the carpet, 
or anything else with this boat in particular. It's a 1991 uh, Nitro 2000 DC. Or any uh, tips you have for like video editing or things you want to see, by all means, drop it in the comments of any of my uh, social media pages. And I will be happy to address that and, and connect with you. So I'm going to go for the night. I will be back Thursday um, for some more just glue removal and, and work on this boat. And I look forward to it. So I will see you guys then. Thanks, everybody.